Tracking Nicole, live from CBS News Miami. This is a next weather alert day. That's right, CBS4 has declared a next weather alert day as we closely watch Nicole's track. And within just the last couple of minutes, a new advisory came down from the National Hurricane Center. Our next weather alert team is all over it. And these live pictures out of Palm Beach Shores and Lauderdale by the Sea show the current conditions. You can see the force of the waves on both sides of the screen there. Good afternoon, I'm Lauren Pastrana. And I'm Elliot Rodriguez. We are also awaiting President Biden to address the nation at any moment. As soon as he begins talking, we'll bring it to you live. But first, CBS4 has you covered on this storm from south to central Florida with our crews spread out across the state and our next weather meteorologists are walking us through what to expect from Nicole. Let's begin with CBS4 next weather chief meteorologist and hurricane specialist Ivan Cabrera. What did that new advisory say, Ivan? All right, so we don't have a hurricane. Again, it's a tropical storm. It's a strong one. We're looking at uh, 70 mile an hour winds. Sea surface temperatures are warm. We've been talking about that. There are a couple of ingredients there that are not mixing well with Nicole, and uh, we love that. We're still thinking again this will make landfall as a category one hurricane with sustained winds at 75. What that means for you and me, Broward, Miami Dade, and certainly the Keys, is we're going to experience tropical storm conditions for the next, uh, say, 24 hours, and uh, we'll be in good shape here. Gusty winds. We could have some isolated damage and wind gusts, but I think we're just going to be dealing with a rain and gusty wind event. Now, further to the north, whole different ballgame there as a landfalling hurricane is going to be with us. So, so let's get to the uh, latest here from the uh, NHC. And before I get into our uh, next radar network, which has a lot of uh, activity on it, and that is already impacting uh, our area, let's get to the latest uh, forecast track here in the cone now. Really not much movement. Uh, this is coming in tonight, so this is about it. This is uh, what we're pinpointing as far as a potential landfall here. And now we're talking about you know just a little sliver of the northeastern part of West Palm Beach as far as the center of circulation, but mainly to the north. So this is the area here that it would be making landfall at 1 a.m. for tonight with 75 mile an hour winds, and then it scooches off towards the north and west. So what does that uh, you know mean for us? Well, it puts in play obviously you know, Fort Pierce here, and this is the area we're going to be watching uh, closely because that is where we're going to be talking about a significant wind there uh, with a significant storm surge on the northern side of the uh, storm. Flood advisories uh, for us have been expanded, and this is just the beginning of what will continue to be a very stormy evening here with a torrential downpours. So I'll widen the sound to be able to see what has been happening uh, across uh, South Florida here. It's just a uh, huge bands of rain that have been coming in. Those have been containing uh, winds anywhere from 20 to 40 miles an hour. That will, you know, knock off loose objects, that kind of deal, but it's not severe damaging winds. You'd have to get into 58 technically north of that, and I don't think we're going to see that. Uh, if anything, it would be very, very isolated here. So again, bigger picture, look at the wind field from Nicole. My goodness, this goes out in every direction, about 450 miles. Those, again, aren't damaging winds. Those are the 39 mile an hour winds, uh, and that is going to be on top of Florida for quite some time. So even once we get through the rain, which won't happen until tomorrow. We're still going to be under the gun for these uh, very strong wind gusts. And there you see them as the bands have been coming in anywhere from uh, 30 to 40 miles an hour. And that continues as we head uh, through uh, the remainder of uh, this evening. All right, let's check in with uh, Cindy for the rest of the forecast. Yes, and let's time this out hour by hour. What we can expect tonight, there's going to be a lot of folks on the roads. Of course, their commute home from work. It will be a slow one because of what's going on. This takes us up to five o'clock. Look at these winds right now coming out of the north northwest the winds have shifted because now Nicole is going to be crossing to our north so we're looking at gusts 33 miles per hour maybe up to 35 gustiest winds look like they're going to be this evening of course stronger winds to the north a little bit less to the south you get down to the keys but you still got some gusts up there over 30 miles per hour one o'clock in the morning that's when it is expected to make landfall not sure if it will still be a tropical storm or a hurricane in any case the impacts are going to be about the same Wind, heavy rain bands coming in, and of course, all those coastal effects, the flooding that's going along the coast. Those winds will die down as we head into late tomorrow, definitely into Friday. High pressure will build back in, and things are looking much better. So, here are the impacts for Miami Dade. No tropical alerts. We're just getting that rain. Of course, the gusty winds, too, but we do not have any tropical storm warnings or anything like that. As much as two to four inches, that is going to cause some coastal flooding. Gusts up to 30, maybe 35 miles per hour. Broward, tropical storm warning with gusts up to 45 miles per hour. Coastal flooding. 
two to four feet rain two to four inches if you're going to be on the water and you should not be on the water today you want to stay away from those beaches right now it's dangerous large waves strong winds rough seas rip currents of course that's going to stay with us into tomorrow as well so even on your Thursday that's not going to be a day to go to the beach we're going to allow Nicole to continue to move across the state and eventually turn to the north north east again but it'll be moving out of our area and our conditions will begin to die down so overall we're looking at wind rain and coastal effects we're going to continue to track it through tonight and into tomorrow